Hi Year 9, um, welcome back, even though it's not a welcome back. Um, we're going to go straight into your computer science lessons of data representation. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do a live lesson today because I'm in school doing a lot of the remote learning admin. So I'm going to do this one just as a video and leave you some work to do. And then hopefully I'll be able to do a live lesson in a couple of weeks when I, s I should be seeing you next. Um, we're going to look at how images are represented on a computer. Because we've done binary deanery, we've done ASCII, so we know how letters are done on a computer. We're moving on to images. Alright, so computers have to digitise an image, alright? And they have to do it in one of two ways, because they can't actually see an image, they can only see ones and zeros. So they do one of two things, either a vector image, which is where they will work out the position of any colour on screen using maths coordinates. And then what that means is you can make something bigger or smaller without ruining the quality of it. So it will plot a dot, and then if you need to make it bigger, it will plot the fact that that dot will increase in size and cover these coordinates. All right. The other one that we're going to look at today is called a bitmap image, which means that it will look at an image, it will put a grid over the top of it so that it gets lots and lots of boxes, and then it will colour each box in depending on what colour it can actually see on screen. Now each of those boxes is called a pixel, called a single picture element, and each one can only be one colour. So your computer's got to decide, well, how big do I do this grid and how good do you want this picture to look? So I'm going to show you some examples now. You can see on the left, there's a picture of a cat. The computer has divided it up into a grid of nine pixels, and on the right, it looks horrendous. It doesn't look anything like a cat. All right, we've got red squares, orange squares, and black squares. Nothing like, okay? So your computer must, all right, increase the quality. So it does. It does a bigger grid. It's got lots more pixels in. You can see on the right, we've got some form of weird shape that's supposed to represent a cat. Still doesn't look like a cat. So what we would need to do is, if you look at the top of the screen, we would need to increase the number of pixels to give us greater detail, okay? Your computer's in school, Normal images that show up on screen would be 1280 by 720 pixels, which would give us 921,600 individual squares, which would easily allow us to use lots more colours, lots more detail, and represent a proper image on screen. So, on screen there should be um, a mock-up of the Lego movie set. Okay, so before they actually created it digitally, they planned it all out with Lego, and you can see... That's a Lego set. Um, they did that picture with a really high resolution camera. And what that means is I can zoom in quite well on this image and we can see every little individual box that makes up this image. So that is actually a construction worker's hat. So you can see there's like sort of a round orangey red shape in the middle that's the construction workers helmet and because we've zoomed in enough we can see every clear square pixel on that screen if I go to another zoomed in shot that is the wing mirror of a green truck okay and if you move your head back away from the screen I just did it a little bit which meant you couldn't hear me but you can actually see that it is a wing mirror on a windscreen of a green truck so, if we increase the number of pixels, obviously this one's got millions of pixels on it, you get a lot better detail on your final eventual image. But, it's no good having all these pixels if your computer has no idea what you've sent it. Alright, so, along with every image file, there is something called metadata. And what that is, is it's all the data about an image. So, we could send the size of the grid. And we say that our image is going to be 20 pixels by 20 pixels. Which means your computer knows that everything you send it as a pixel, it knows where to put it on the screen. Um, on your phones, if you take a picture on your phone and you swipe the image up on some phones or down on some phones and you view the information of your image, it should tell you the size of the image. It should tell you the location of the image if you've got location settings turned on. And on some phones, it will actually tell you how much light was entering the camera. It will tell you which device it was taken on. All of that information is metadata. It's just information about the image. And if we don't have it, it can mess the image up. All right, there's our crazy cat. If we did not send metadata with it, we'd just get a line of pixels. 
you just get a line of pixels because it has no idea how big the grid is. If you don't tell it that it's a 14 by 14 pixel image, it will just write them all out as a pixel line. It does not know that after 14 pixels, it should start a new line. So this metadata is extremely important. Now, we've got height, width, the number of bits for each pixel, so that can determine how many colors we can use, the type of image, the device the image is taken on, all those things are different types of information that can be sent as metadata. Now, you, for today's lesson, are going to use some metadata to draw some flags. So I'm going to put as an assignment in Teams a Pixel Flags workbook. Now you'll have this video as well should you need it, but I'm going to quickly go through what you need to do. So you can see on screen there, there is a pixel image and next to it, there is some metadata. Now you can see on the top line, it's got the number 80 next to it. And what that means is I want you to color in eight boxes with the color zero. Now to the right hand side of that you can see there's a zero, a one and a two with a white, a blue and a red pixel. So what that means is wherever you see the zero I need eight boxes filled with white. So on the top line I've got eight boxes filled with white. On the second line I then have one of those pixel boxes that is zero. Okay? And then next to it I've got two of those boxes that are the colour two which are the red ones. Next to it I've got two that are the colour one which are the blue ones and two that are the colour two one that's the colour zero. And then the next line I've got new metadata for that one as well. So I'll show you your workbook. Alright so it's going to be in Excel. Alright so this is what you will be given. There is the example at the top. Alright so at the bottom is an example one to fill in. And it says I need you to do eight of the colour number one. So I'm going to go one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm going to go up to the fill tool at the top of my screen, and I'm going to fill it in with blue, because it says that the number one should be blue, just there. Now the next line says I need two of the colour number one. So I'm going to go two blue ones. It then says I need three of the colour zero. One, two, three, black. And then I need three number one. So number one was blue. All right, and you move down, you move down, and you will make an image. Now that's not your only job because if you look at the bottom of the screen, there are different tabs. So if I go on the flags one, right now it gets a little bit more complicated. This now says I need eleven number two color. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Number two is red, so I can color it in in red. All right. So your job is to go through and then you need to use the internet to work out which country has that flag that you've just drawn and you can put it in that box just there. Now you move down, you move down, you move down, you can see that one's going to be really complicated, that middle one. There is an extension as well. It says can you create some flags and could you make the key code and write the metadata. Now these are the extension tasks so if you finish the first two very quickly the extensions are what you do. All right. The last one there says, can you draw your initials? Okay, so can you actually fill in the pixels with your initials and do the, the code for it and the colour key? Alright, so if you are struggling, then obviously you can get in touch with me and we will get things sorted. You should be able to find this using Office 365. You can fill it in. It will be an assignment that is set in Teams for you and you just need to fill it all in and it, because it's an assignment, it should send it straight back to me. You don't have to email it. You don't have to attach it to anything. The minute you are done, I will be able to view it. And it tells me who's actually accessed it. It tells me who's filled it in. And I can view it all live while you're working on it. All right. So you're doing pixels with metadata today. And then next time I see you, you'll actually be drawing your own pixel images. Okay. Lots of different pixel images. All right. Um, I will speak to you soon. If you need me, just send me a message in the team and I'll get in touch with you as quick as I can. All right. See you soon.